Hallelujah. Okay, so welcome to our Weapons of Warfare Prayer School, which comes on every last Wednesday of the month. We thank the Lord. We just want to worship Him wherever we are. Thank you for joining us online. And we believe that this message will go all across the globe. We will share it later and know that we are going to be blessed. Our Father and our God, we bless your name. We worship you. We lift you high. We exalt your name on this last Wednesday of the month of August. Indeed, you have been gracious. You have been merciful. You have been faithful. We commit even our learning, our teaching today, uh, weapons of warfare, prayers go to your hands. That everyone you have ordained to be part of this ministration will be partakers. There will be no onlookers in Jesus' name. Above all, Lord, your name alone will be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 So welcome once again, wherever you may be joining us from. And like we can see, our topic today is faith boosters and prayer. And we know that this is an informal prayer school and we, are, we welcome questions um contributions even online we welcome you and um i want i want to open the floor now for a uh, mommy <laughs> if you are ready let me know whatever you think about it and then... <clears throat> praise the lord hallelujah uh, uh, yes uh, in fact it's just i just finished my walking i walked down about a few kilometers two or two kilometers and then rushed down you know, okay. to, thank you, man. Because thank you, this God. is this is more important. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank God for it's your life. So more important because is is uh, when mm -hmm. you have faith in in something, mm -hmm. it builds it boosts you up. Mm -hmm. It gives you joy and happiness. Amen. You know, it, 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 it's really helpful. So mm -hmm. when when you know something that is is uh, that give you, mm. that boost your 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 peace. Yeah. So you you will try not to not to miss it. Amen. When we are Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, but just looking at uh, faith boosters mm. and prayer. I know that the, uh, you know, it helps us to to trust God. Amen. You know, a, a booster is something that enhancing and trust in the Lord. Thank you for that definition. It, yes, it boosts our, uh, you know, it, 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 it make it help us to, I won't use boost again, it help us to trust more in, in the Lord. Mm. And uh, well, there should be something that will that help, that mm. is boost, booster is a helper. Amen, yes. And the the major helper is by memorizing the word. Amen. I think it, it's the word that boosts boosts our faith. Because Amen. if you don't hear about the word or you mm. don't you don't confess it, there's no way you will have faith. Amen. So it, 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 we it, word of God is a booster. Mm. It's a booster of our faith. Mm. Amen. And you need to you need to meditate on it when you Amen. when you study it, the scripture you you meditate you you think mm. about it. It's just yes. like when they say quick to uh, quick to uh, uh, quick to hear Amen. and slow. You know when when you are quick to hear the word of God, mm. you sit down and see how. It, it, it helps in your daily life. Yes. And you have to sit down because you don't have faith in everything. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, I can't. Praise yeah. the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I was going to in the class. Hallelujah. Okay. <laughs> So, as the word of God, one thing that helps us to trust God is when the the word of God 
you meditate on the, the scripture. And it is the one that connects you to God. And all the fear that is, for, for example, if you have fear, it combats the fear. It destroys the fear. You know, the, you, you need to, like, uh, first of all, prayers, it, it, it's, uh, it changes things. It's a resistance. When you pray, it, it, it destroys yes. everything. Like, yes. like booster. I've, I've just I I I spoke about booster is is the word of God. Yes. How, how, how can you use this word of God? How can it boost you? How yes. do, can you met, uh, Can you boost it? Is by studying the word, memorizing yes. the word, I'm and speaking it all the time, and meditating the word. That's a booster. But prayers is, uh, you know, prayers is uh, you have uh, have faith. You need to be praying. Like Jesus Christ, the first thing the disciple as Jesus yeah. Christ is teach us how to pray. Amen. Mm. And uh, and he, he, like uh, like Matthew says, is the he, the he said he shot. Do, do, uh, Matthew said this. Do we know that prayer is a mm. personal thing? Yes. It's to be intimate. Mm. To be intimate with God. The, the, when you have a booster, you study the word, you there is a way you you know you we have encouraged. Mm. That we encourage you. Mm. That is you, you have to be closer to God. Is the is the prayer mm. that makes you closer to God. And yes. you have faith because you have been studying the word, you've been meditating on it, yes. and you know it, you've been studying it, and you've been using it. So yes. you have to be praying that this person, this Jesus that you have faith in, yes. you 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 look at his character, his That's word. Right. He is yes. he is word here. The word changes, he is a is a game changer. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, he, 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 he has, when you pray, you exchange your sorrow to, to joy. Hallelujah. You have, you have peace of mind, you know, and uh, because the word is a, is a supernatural, the word, the mm. word of God is supernatural. Mm. And for example, Jesus tried to know that the disciples said, teach us how to pray. Mm. You must you must be intimate to God to know how to pray. Oh yeah, and and uh, for example, in Matthew thirty six, uh, uh, twenty six thirty six, mm. when he is you win, uh, that's one of the example. He mm. he went he went he always go he will always make himself secluded, separate mm. himself to pray in every time. Mm. After doing healing, he will go and. And refill himself, fuel himself. He will mm. go to a corner to go and and, and refill, refill, refuel to a corner mm. to boost with prayers. You will know that is mm. the prayers is what you pray privately. Mm. Although getting together is a good thing. Mm. To go, to prayer is a, is powerful to have a gathering. But the most powerful thing is. To pray privately, Amen. Mm. you know, it, it, because you know, I will, I'm just gambling now. You, you know, when you want to know, when you have faith, mm. you know that it changes destiny. Amen. It changes That's destiny. Right. It gives you joy. You have peace of mind and Amen. everything. You know, the like uh, Matthew six. He said, "You shut your door." When you want to pray, that's yeah. you want to be intimate with this father because you have faith. No in, distractions. In, no mm. distraction, nothing. Thank you. You shut your door and in, in Luke, uh, in, let's see Luke, Luke uh, 32, 31. Luke 32. Hallelujah. Thank you. This yeah. is so powerful. Yeah. This is so rich. I just thank God for the topic you always speak for us. Mm -hmm. Luke chapter Luke, Luke, Luke 22 31 let's see. And verse 31 and I shall be reading yeah verse okay. 31 31 yeah it says 
So you also, when you see Luke 21, you said? No, Luke 22. I said Luke oh, 22. Sorry. 22 verse 31, right? Yeah. And, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, indeed, Satan has asked for you that he, that he may sift you as we. Continue. But I have prayed for you, yeah. That Praise your that faith Lord. should not fail. Hallelujah. You, you and see, when you have returned to me, strengthen your brethren. Oh, hallelujah. yes, yes. You know, is Jesus did say, "I will book, I will fight the Satan." Hmm. No, he said, "I have prayed." prayed. You, we know okay. that is prayer that hmm. destroyed the yoke. Amen. Is this prayer that changes things? Is is the prayer that Jesus prayed for uh, for Peter? That mm -hmm. make him to be like this. Amen. Lord. It's the one that take him out of the hands of Satan. Amen. I will I will use my example. It's not by my power, it's not by my mind yes. that I was able to grab my son from the from the mouth of of, 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 Goli of the Goliath of this world. I oh. believe that. I have faith in that. Yes, you said so. Yeah, I remember. He is he, his prayers, communion for everything and join prayers i didn't keep my mouth shut telling mm. people this is there is a there is a war i'm fighting a war hallelujah call help me call jesus help me intercede that's why intercession is very important mm -hmm. help me call jesus help me fight this battle with prayer you can fight hey. your battle with prayer amen and this this is the example of luke Luke 22, Jesus didn't, didn't say, oh, uh, I will fight war between mm. uh, uh, this Satan. Yes. For you to, to achieve the plan and purpose of God, you need mm. prayer. Amen. And for you to have joy, I tell you, you to have peace of mind mm. and, and, to, and, and, to, and, to, and to remain on the top, you need prayers. Yeah. So you will know that faith and prayers they they work hand in hand. When you mm -hmm. pray, you must you must you must have faith. And how, how how do you have faith? You must you must study the word of God. How can you have how can you boost your faith? Because faith sometimes it can be weak. Yes. But when you continue uh, pray, studying your word, meditating mm. on the word, it will mm. it will boost your faith. Mm. Hallelujah! And you will have assurance that everything will be okay. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! <laughs> no, this this is so profound. I, it's like as you are just sharing, I am led to also look at the other side of it. So when you talk about booster, it's something that enhances. Yes, yeah. it improves, you know, your faith and your trust and your prayer life, of course. Yes. Then uh, we're going to look at the scripture. But apart from that, before I look at that scripture, I also want to say that if there are boosters, it also means that there are inhibitors. There are also yes. things that will not help the prayer life. Can we, for a few minutes, just discuss that and so that we can pray against those kind of things? Yes. What are those things that can also hinder? or inhibit, just like you have the booster to enhance, you also have the inhibitors or the people things that can hinder. So let's talk about that because God, when you know the negative, then you know yeah. how to prevent it. They say prevention is better than care. So yeah. now the first, to know, the yeah, first so thing that came to some. my mind is yes. laziness. Thank you. Slothfulness. The slothfulness. Laziness. It's the false thing. You are lazy to study the work you are lazy to study. You are, and uh, and uh, another thing that I, I talked about. Too busy of, doing the wrong. Too be, busy. Exactly. And too then busy when, with. When you didn't take mundane uh, things. Rise along with whatever you are doing. Mm. You refuse to take him. And you feel you are proud. You know, mm. anybody that didn't pray, they are proud. Hmm. You think you can yes, do you it? Think you can own. handle it, yeah. And it's a very subtle one, though. They will mm -hmm. not know it's pride. It's a subtle pride. 
Exactly. For example, mm. can I just jump in, man? When yes. you talk about prayer, this means it's not even praying, you praying yourself. Asking people to pray for you. Pray oh, pray. That is the area where I think that pride is. Yes, intercessor. That is where the pride is very, very obvious. Problem, you know, problem. Because the Bible has clearly said it. Is anyone sick? Let him call the elders. That's I cannot James. imagine how many people, you know, would have been preserved mm. if they spoke out. At least to one person. Mm. At least to one or two people. And I, I know that it's not it's not every time you have to tell everybody what you're going through. But there must be one. Well, at least somebody you trust. Especially when it's something that is very beyond you, like something you know that you need divine intervention. Because yes. there are some situations that you just you might just feel okay, I can handle this, although it's not all the time. But when you know mm. that, for example, the, 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 you know that you need God to heal somebody or deliver somebody, you may not even give the details, you may not call the names. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to ask for that prayer. Mm -hmm. I want to add this for people who are listening because a lot of people, they even they are so secretive and private that even when the situation is very, very needs divine intervention, they will not tell anybody. Like it is said, a problem that is shared is half solved. You don't need to tell everybody. In fact, be careful who you even tell, right? But you have to look for. You, unless you are sure that you can handle it, you have that relationship <laughs> with the Holy Spirit. You know, there are different levels. Mm -hmm. At this point, I want to mention there are different levels, but no matter the level, the word of God is still the word of God. If mm -hmm. two shall agree, and in this type can only go by prayer yes. and fasting, <laughs> and yeah. agreeing with somebody, at least it will boost the person's faith. Unless, like I said, if the person is so confident that I have faith in God, or if they don't care, mm. you understand? Some people can say, I don't want any man to share God's glory. But it's only, it depends on how you go about it. If you go around telling everybody, even you may go and tell the wrong people, I agree, that is not right. Mm -hmm. But at least a man of God, a woman of God, a woman that has yes. God, somebody that you know has faith will also believe God with you. When you join faith with that person, that person cannot take the glory because it, no. the word of God says if two of you shall agree yeah, to guide together. And mm. it is God that must guide you and lead you to that person, not just anybody. Because some people you tell them, in fairness to those who don't want, who don't want to share, some people they instead of them to help boost your faith, they inhibit your faith. Yes. Hallelujah. Those who are negative, those who mm. cannot believe the word of God, just like you said. Those that don't even have the word of God in them. If you don't have the word of God in you, you like a reservoir, what word are you going to use to encourage the person? So if such people, you go to them, they will definitely tell you something, you know? So we need to watch who we also share with. It has to be somebody that we are led to, that will not dampen our faith, but somebody that will rather um, enhance our faith. I wanted to mention that, that apart from boosters, we also have inhibitors. Doubt. Inhibitors. What are some of the doubt, uh, inhibitors? Doubt, fear, mm. you know, and all these things are outside the word of God. If you don't have the word of God, what are you going to believe in? Mm. Definitely fear will come and you begin to believe other reports because there's no vacuum in the spirit. In my mommy, you want to add something? I sense. I said, uh, you know, but, but when you, you the first thing is to ask for discern, to have a discerning spirit. Amen. Discerning you will direct spirits. you to yes. whom to, to confine on. Oh, you know? Amen. That, uh, yes, a discerning spirit. Who will spirit. help you to fight the battle, not the one that will, impact, that will increase the battle. Exactly, like you said. Yes. A discerning spirit. Mm. To know who to share with. Because yes, not right. everybody will help boost your faith. No, not mm -hmm. not not mm -hmm. everybody you share it with that will boost your faith. Some people will actually inhibit it. Thank you, Maria. Mm -hmm. So, spirit of discernment. This is where we need the Holy Spirit. We need to be connected to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, ma, that is very true. So, can we look at this scripture where we are going to look at some of the 
boosters according to the word of God. Second Peter chapter one, verse five to seven. Second Peter chapter one, verse five to seven. Hallelujah. Praise Second Peter chapter one. Chapter one, verse five to seven. And I read it. Okay. Right? It said, but also for this very reason, giving all diligence adds to your faith virtue mm. or good character, I would say. Virtue. To virtue, knowledge. To knowledge, self-control. So we're going to look at each of them quickly. To self-control, perseverance, right? Mm. Which is very yes. important. To perseverance, godliness. To godliness, brotherly kindness. To mm. brotherly kindness, love. Of course, we know that love is the greatest of all this of them. Great. So this scripture is telling us to add to our faith. That means as we study the word of God, we believe God. There are actions. We also have to back it up. As I said, faith without works is dead works. It's so dead. if we have faith and we have we don't have good character, we don't have patience, <laughs> those are the virtues. You know, you don't have patience. You are trusting God for something, and God is saying, Wait, I have heard you. I'm going to do it. Hmm. So lack of patience will inhibit our faith. Why patience? We boost our faith. When we, we remember that God did it before, He can do it again. That is the knowledge, knowing the truth, knowing the, the word truth. of God, knowing that yeah. God has done it before, He has not changed. Knowing the word of God, just like you said, if you don't know, if you have not read the Bible, you have not seen God do it before, I have not heard testimonies. Testimonies is another faith booster. Hallelujah. Testimony. He said they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony, Revelation 12, 11. So other people's testimony, it brings about you developing more your knowledge. You begin to know oh, more knowledge. That mm. thing is possible. You know, God can do it. He did it before. That was what David used to conquer Goliath. Knowledge from his experience that ah, God has done it before. God did it for me. You know, he, he delivered me from the beer. Deliver me from the lion's den. That knowledge was what boosted his faith to trust God that the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore who delivered him from the bear and the lion will also deliver him from Goliath because it's the same principle, the same God. God. Hallelujah. Yes. So that is the self control, also. It's mm. very, very important. Mm. These are the fruit of the spirit, you know, fruit of the spirit. Add virtue. So the virtue is good character, the fruit of the spirit, love, joy, goodness, kindness, patience, these are all the godliness, patience. Yes, thank that. you. So these thank are you. all the ingredients that make our faith, you know, to be to be mm. validated. Hallelujah! Perseverance, that's patience. You know, it's just another way of talking about the fruit of the spirit when you look at it. Kindness, brotherly, you know, brotherly kindness. And then talk about love. All these things we boost the faith. We make it, you know, uh, work. We make us receive um, results, quick results. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Man, you have anything? No. Yeah. Then we are going to pray at the end. Oh, uh, what, uh, what I'm looking at, like, uh, how, how do the... Uh, Patient or endurance? Mm. How can it boost our faith? Patience and endurance? Mm. Okay. Thank you, ma. So in the, in the, in the area of patience, yeah. while you are waiting, like I said, waiting is not wasting. While waiting on the Lord, you are going to be learning a lot of lessons. God is going to be speaking to you because remember, as you are waiting, you are also meditating. God is speaking to you. He's even explaining to you. God actually, there are times God can even tell you why. Why that answer is not yet coming. You understand? Why, for example, if somebody who is waiting to get married, 
the, the bone of their bone and flesh of their flesh. I want to use that example. Maybe the character is not well formed. Person is not prepared, right? Because you have to know yourself. You have to know who you are. Those areas where you have to work on before you now add another, you know, marry somebody. So while waiting, there'll be a lot of lessons. There'll be a lot of correction, a lot of things that you can change for good. You begin to work on your character. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. So the waiting period, the patience, is going to help you, Lord, to shed off those things that yes. you know God does not want. Because why God mm -hmm. does not want to just give you that? One thing is to receive it. Another thing is to maintain it. Okay. For example, somebody trusting God for healing. If God just heals, then sometimes he can heal instantly. Sometimes he can wait. And while waiting, you are growing more in the Lord. You are mm -hmm. growing more mature. Waiting or patience brings about maturity. 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 Yes. Yes, yes. Then you pass through that journey. So when somebody else is going through it, you are able to tell them, mm -hmm. oh, I understand. I know I have an idea. I've been through something like I've seen, I've experienced something like that before. But if sometimes, if you just get what you want, you're looking quick, you may not have enough stories, may not have enough, you know, explanation or to give. But so you'll be able to let that person know that God will come true for you. Most times, experience of other people is what people who are coming behind, they leverage on it, you know, leverage on that fact that, oh, somebody, somebody passed through it. Just like an exam, somebody did exactly. and they passed it, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody mm -hmm. did an exam and they passed that exam. Somebody else mm -hmm. who is going to do that exam can go to the person who has done it before, right? And mm -hmm. that person can explain better can put mm -hmm. them through. So, okay, this is how you do it. These are the likely questions. This is yes. how you will address it, you know? And in fact, it will even encourage the person that you are, you are not trying to, yes. to minister to. So other people will be blessed. They will be encouraged. And they will even be able to wait more, longer. You know? Longer. So, yeah, exactly. they, they, will, they will not say, oh, I'm not the only one. Okay, God will God that did it for that person, we do it for me. It even increases the like the likelihood for people to be more patient. You know, other mm. people will be more patient. So it's not even just the person going through it. That person is like somebody is paying the price. Like Jesus nice. paid the price for us. Teaching uh, others. Uh -huh. Other people, they may not even need to wait that long, but they will know that, that long. God will come mm. through. So I'm waiting can be five years, can be one year, can be two years. But that person that waited for five years is able to tell mm. the other person that, don't worry, God will do it. And it doesn't mean your own will take five years, right? Yes, yeah. Exactly. So it's when they pray with such people, when they pray with these people, you'll be surprised that God will do it quicker. Quicker, exactly. Yes, it happens a lot. Mm. God will do it quicker because you're already, like Jesus already paid the price. We are ourselves. We are there to bear each other's burdens. Amen. Yes. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is wonderful. So I want to quickly add a few things. Yeah, apart from what we just read, a conducive mm. atmosphere will also boost our faith, our prayer life. If you are in an environment where people are so negative, conducive, right? mm. people are so negative, anything, it can affect, yeah, it can affect either positively yeah. or negatively. Yes. But if you are in a place where our ah, testimonies are bound, you know, you know that these these people they, they they believe God and God did it, they can exactly. influence you right positively, positively, an atmosphere that is charged with the Holy Ghost, like I say, mm. with fire, and a prayer, a prayer. Of, uh, let's say you go to a family now; they are very prayerful in that family. Mm. It's going to rub on you. The anointing is going to rub on you, or you have a friend. Who is very spiritual? Who is spirit, you know, spiritually minded? Okay. And, and you, well, as long as you yield, you yourself, you yield. You don't complain and say, ah, you know, you will find out that your own prayer life will improve. If you stay with somebody who is very prayerful, even if you were not prayerful, <laughs> mm. you know, that's what the booster is, right? Yes, it will yes. make you, 
the jump strike a vehicle that is not uh, that is not working. You bring the yes, lens down something. Mm. Yeah, we jump start it or what do they call it? So you have mm. somebody who is prayerful, iron sharpening iron, amen. And also a pure and a contrite spirit. I want to say this is so mm. important. A broken and a contrite spirit, a repentant heart will always attract the mercy and favor of God. And yeah. it mm. our faith in the Lord. Gosh. Hallelujah. Amen. Right. So I just want us to pray. I want us to just begin to appreciate yeah. God. All the people on our prayer list in the altar of mercy. At this time, I want us to thank God for all the nations. I just begin to cover everyone in the blood of Jesus. The Even anyone under the sound of our voice, anyone that is watching. Yes. If you don't have a relationship with Christ, the first thing we want to do, before you talk about faith booster, do you even believe in Believe. Jesus? Do you have a relationship? No. It's only when you have a relationship with him that you know that he did it before. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Today so and if forever. you are watching and you don't have a relationship, I just want us to just rededicate our lives and say, Lord Jesus, let's confess our sins. Say, Jesus, ask, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. But Timius, who was blind, cried in Mark chapter 10, 46 to 50. He said, Jesus, that son of David, have mercy upon me. Ask God for mercy even at this time. Mercy is the currency that will never bounce back. It's an open check. Whatever it is, just go before God right now and say, my Lord and my God, have mercy upon me. Forgive me of everything I've committed. Wash me clean with your precious blood. Remove my name from the book of death and condemnation and write my name in the last book of life. Ask God for, 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 for protection. Ask God for preservation. Ask God for provision. Whatever your needs are, just go before him right now. Even as you have rededicated re re your life, just say, Lord, I yield myself to you. Every of my desires, your word says, the desires of the righteous shall be granted. And we want to agree with you that whatever you are trusting God for, even as you have joined this prayer school today, as you are connected, the Lord will come true for you. The, whatever battle you have been fighting, he has never lost any battle. We join our faith with you even at this time. The weapons of warfare prayer school, we are joining our faith with you. This is an arm of the altar of mercy, um, a daily uh, online prayer that we do just to stand in the gap for the nations, for special needs. So if you have any special request, any prayer, you can send it, you can, you can uh, inbox me, message me, and then we will continue to pray. This meeting comes every last Wednesday, and we are wrapping up. We have had a wonderful time. If you just join now, you can still go and listen to the replay. We learned a lot about faith boosters, enhancers of faith. We also talked about um, that enhancers of prayer and faith. We also talked about the inhibitors, things that can make affect negatively impact, you know, our faith in God. And I, I, I want us to just begin to pray that, Lord, we want what will enhance our faith. We want to have a right relationship. We want to be able to meditate on the word of God because that is how our faith is built up. Can you just pray and say, Lord, quicken me, strengthen me, strengthen my inner man. Help mm -hmm. me even to be able to meditate on your word. Begin to come against the spirit of slothfulness. Those are the inhibitors. Slothfulness, procrastination. Oh, yes. I will read my Bible tomorrow. Oh, I will, I will pray later. All those things, those are the inhibitors. Say, my Lord and my God, every inhibitor, I every separate myself inhibitor. from them in yes. the name of Jesus. Lord, equip me and empower me to, to study to show myself approved. Holy Spirit, help me. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you because you cannot do it by yourself. The Bible yes. is so big. There are so many things to study. Sometimes you open Genesis and you are like, ah, is it Genesis I want to even listen to now? Mm -hmm. You know, but... Wherever you open in the Bible, the word of God is new every morning. Every, every morning. Every situation you are going through is in the word of God, the Bible. And I want to also mention that I know that we always use our phone. I use my phone too. But let us try. I want to use this platform to encourage us. Try to have a Bible that you read. Mm. A Bible that you read. The book of the Lord. This book of the Lord. This book of the Lord. Not this, uh, not this iPad of the Lord. iPad. <laughs> <laughs> this book of the Lord. Holy Spirit is just telling me now. This book of the mm. Lord shall not depart. Not my iPad shall not depart. Mm. I re I use it quite all right. But use your Bible more. More. Use mm. your Bible more as much as possible. In fact, I'm sure some people don't. Even as much as some people use only iPad. Some people, I'm sure, don't even use iPad. 
or even useful. So discipline yourself. Discipline yourself. The word of God cannot change because of technology. Technology yeah, can change, so. but the word of God remains the same. Change. Okay? So, but if you have studied it and it's now in your spirit, you can, and you are now from your spirit praying the word of God. That's a different case. Then you have you already have it, you know, a um, you're already engrafted in the word of God. You're you already have it in your system. But if you don't you don't know it at all and you are starting with your iPad or your phone, I want to encourage you, start from the book of the Lord, the book, this the book, book of the Lord, mm. this book, book, book. Mm. The mm. books shall be opened when the books shall be opened, not when the iPad shall be opened, not when the iPhone shall be opened. Mm. It is okay to use it, but the Spirit of the Lord is ministering to me. Even when I'm speaking to myself, read your yes, Bible. So, mm. Have you I also noticed, mm. Mommy, let me say this, for you to know yes. it's spiritual. For you mm. to know it's very spiritual. Do you know that if you are using your iPad, you will not sleep? Oh? No. Or your no. phone. You will not sleep because other things are coming Popping to distract in. you. Mm. But your Bible... Because it's spiritual. Hmm. You start reading a sleep will come. Hmm. Because the devil is fighting for you not to read it. I want us to pray right now, Father. And I want us to pray the spirit. That spirit of slumber. The spirit that does not want people to read the Bible. Because when you talk about prayer, we are talking about praying the word of God. Praying the word. Faith yeah. coming by hearing and hearing. That's uh, Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Let's round up with that. Romans chapter 10, 17. And mommy, that was how you started. You said we have to hear the word. And that the is word. exactly the scripture God gave to me. Romans chapter 10, 17. I was surprised when you were saying, I'm like, wow. Mommy is in the spirit. Because mm -hmm. I know I send the reminder late. Yes. I'm not sure you saw it. See, mm -hmm. Romans chapter 10, verse 17 says, So then faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. And that was what we started it. Hmm. Faith comes by hearing. Hearing the word. How are you hearing it? As you keep studying it, meditating on it, you'll be hearing it in your spirit. Amen? Amen. Be hearing it to be ringing in your mind, your spirit. Even when you are sleeping, you can be hearing the word. So here does not mean somebody must speak. The voice of God sometimes is speaking to your spirit. So the more you meditate on, the more you read it, you now get so used to it. That is it. Take coming by hearing. As you are speaking, you keep hearing. And you keep meditating on it. And before you know it, your faith is built up. Father, we thank you, Lord. Let's just pray in the spirit. Every scale, oh God, the command is removed. Everything that has been blocking our view, every spirit of slumber, Makari Bo, spirit of slumber that has tried to stop people. Distracted from that study, spirit of weakness, spirit of weariness. I take authority of ah, right now my, in the name of man, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every spirit of distraction, somebody under the sound of my voice. The reason yes, why Lord. you are still where you are is because you have not grown spiritual. You have yeah. not grown in the knowledge of the word. Say so you shall know the truth and the every truth shall make you free. Power, the reason why you are still in bondage is because you have not studied, you have, you have not discovered word. the word of God. The yeah. word of God is a jewel of inestimable price. <laughs> Rise, oh my Yekerebo Sotoria. In a Mayanderebo Sotoria, Jesus already paid the price. He paid the price for us, but we have our part to play. We have our part to play. So, yes. solely to show ourselves. Up. Sure, yes. If we do not study, how will we know? See, there's a lot of secrets, a lot of information, a lot of solution in the word mm. of God. We're talking about faith. 
It is the word of God that boosts our faith. The word that you know, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The word that you know. So the reason why you are lacking in that situation where you are, you are void of understanding or knowledge because you don't know the word. Every situation we are going through, there is a word for it. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, there is a word for it. You are yes. trusting God for financial increase, there is a word for it. Mm. And this is what boosts your faith. Without yes. the word, is a vain repetition. Mm. That's why God said, do not make vain repetition when you come to him in prayer. Oh, I want food. I want money. I want money. That is not enough. Father, you shall supply all my riches my according. Riches. I shall supply all my needs according yes. to your riches your in glory. In Philippians glory. 4, 19. That is what God hears, understand. You will make a way where there seems to be no way. Mm -hmm. You will cause rivers to flow in desert places. Mm -hmm. Your words say Jesus himself, he used the faith, uh, he, he exercised faith by using the word. When he was tempted, he said, it is written there is, it is written for every situation, everything you are going through. It is written. It is written is that faith booster. Hallelujah. It is mm -hmm. written. What is written is what is going to boost your faith. What is already written concerning that situation is what will boost your faith. Imagine, for example, you are going through a situation and even if it's one word you know in the Bible concerning that, it's better than you don't know any word. Mm -hmm. So the more word you bring to God, that is come with your strong reason. Let's look at Isaiah mm -hmm. 43, 26. God is saying, come with your strong reason. Mm -hmm. Come with the word. Come with my promise, what God has said. God is waiting in as much as it's good to cry to God. What really moves God is his word. Not even the Christ, not even the tears. So we should stop being sentimental, but be spiritual. Amen. Isaiah 43 to Isaiah, says, put me in remembrance. Let us contend together. State your case that you may be acquitted. What is the case? The word of God. Concerning whatever you are going through, bring that situation and let there be a word, a word that we can't hide. Your word says, by the stripes of Jesus, I am yeah, healed. Yeah. Your word says it. That is my ground. Mm -hmm. That is my case. So if anything that is contrary to that, when you present it to God, God now says, yes. He will not shake his head. Remember, he's the chief judge. Yes. Say, yes. My daughter has said the truth. Can I confirm what I'm saying? In Numbers mm -hmm. 27, there was, I think there were five daughters of Zelophehad. Oh, yes. Not that story. Uh -huh. They deprived them yeah, of their yeah, inheritance. Yes. But when they came to realize that they deserve to receive their inheritance, they cried to God and they cried to Moses, who was representing. And I want to look at, I just want to run to verse. We can just read it very quickly. Then came the daughters of Zelophe. We round up with this. The son of Hepha, the son of Gilead, the son of Mature the son of Manasseh, from the families of Manasseh, the son of Joseph. And these were the names of his daughters, Mala, Noah, Bogla, Melka, and Tezah. And they stood before Moses, before Eleazar the priest, and before the leaders and all the congregation by the doorway of the tabernacle of meeting, saying, Our father died in the wilderness, but he was not in the company of those who gathered together against the Lord, in the company of Korah. But he died in his own sins. You know, Kara, Korah, Dotham, and Abiram. Yes, and Abiram. Yeah. So these children, you have to know who you are. You have to know you are who in the Lord. You yes. have to come with your legal ground. In our case, the blood of Jesus is our legal ground. It's really good. So this, yes. they cried unto the Lord, said, why should the name of our father be removed from among his family because he had no son don't accept the lie of the devil or any accusation don't accept any negativity so these daughters of Zelophehad were wise he said give us a possession among our father's brothers so this was the law before your faith and trust in God can change law God can change law for your kids 
can break protocol. Look at what happened. Moses brought their case before the Lord. This is what I love that I want to say. And the Lord spoke to Moses saying, the daughters of Zelophehad speak what is right. That is why you must know the truth. You must know your right. You must know your okay. word. You shall surely give them a possession of inheritance among their father's brothers and cause the inheritance of their father to pass to them. Do you know that because of these daughters of Zelophehad, that cause was broken. That decree, whatever they be, that, that law was reversed. I want to pray for you in Jesus' name. Because you have to join this prayer school today. Whatever it is you are going through, as you stand your ground and exercise faith and authority yes. in the name of Jesus Christ, God will, he will rule in your favor in Jesus' name. This was Amen. what happened. Because Luke 10, 19 says, Behold, I give you all power and authority to trample upon snakes and upon scorpions, and nothing shall by yeah. any means. Any means. Mean, nothing shall by any means. We are talking about faith. Nothing shall by any means. When God has said it, who is the person that is going to say it contrary? So you have to believe it. And say so you shall speak to the children of Israel, saying, if a man does so, the law was reversed. I don't want to go into details. We are rounding up. But I just use this story to charge you. Yes. And to strengthen you and tell you that you can change the trajectory of things. Your faith and your trust in God, your faith booster. We came to tell you today that it is possible with God. Don't let your faith be weakened. Mm. Don't let your faith be weakened. The fact that it didn't work for one person doesn't mean it will not work for you. The fact that it didn't work before doesn't mean it will. Every day may look the same. Every day is not the same. I want to pray. What is that special thing you are trusting God for? Let us join our faith together. Let us just begin to agree that many that have joined or are going to listen later, whatever it is you are trusting God for, I pray mm. that your faith will not fail you. Amen. Even Peter, God, Jesus prayed for, for him. He prayed for he him. Prayed yes. for you. I pray by the mercies of God that any area of life where your faith is already getting weak is in your health. Have doctors told you something? Good, Jesus is the doctor of all doctors. Is it your finances? The silver and gold belong to him. Mm. Everything you are looking for is in the hand of God. All you have to do is to draw closer. The last phase booster I want to say before I go, draw closer. Give your life to him. We just pray the prayer of faith. Draw closer. Fellowship. Fellowship with the Lord. Don't depart from the presence of God. Stay connected, stay rooted and grounded. And as you do, believe in him with all of your heart. When we look at the acronym of Booster, believe in the Lord, believe in him. And the first O, I will say, obey his, the word of God. Obey the word of God. Let the word of God be your final authority. And the other O is that you are an overcomer. Know that you are an overcomer. When you have that understanding that you're an overcomer, nothing shakes you. The S is that live a sacrificial life. Psalm 50 verse 5 says, Gather unto me, my sins, who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And a broken and a contrite spirit, you know, the Lord will not despise. And also trust in the Lord with all of your heart. E, seek the Lord early. Seek him early and be expectant. Always be expectant. When you are expectant, God will come true for you. That means you have faith. When you are expectant, it means that, yes, you truly believe. And enter into the rest of God. Enter into God's rest. When you are afraid, enter into God, God's rest. And S, begin to sing a new song. Sing song of praise. When Deborah received her victory, she sang. When Hannah received her victory, she sang. When the children of Israel received their, their victory, when they crossed the Red Sea on dry ground, they sang. I want to pray that God will put a new song in your mouth today. Amen. Even as you step away in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we take our confession and share the grace with you? Lift up your heads, O you yes, gates, and be lifted you everlasting ever And the King of glory shall come. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, 
the Lord mighty in battle. Stop your head, do you get? Even lift you up, you everlasting doors. Everlasting doors. King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts is the King of glory. Amen. Let me quickly read Psalm ninety one. Psalm ninety one, our favorite verse of protection and abiding in the presence of God. We who dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The Almighty. The of the Lord is our refuge and our fortress. Our God in Him we will trust. Surely He shall deliver us from the snow of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover us with His feathers, and under His wings we shall take refuge. His truth shall be our shield and buckle. We shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we look and see the reward of the wicked. Because we have made the Lord who is our refuge, even the most high our dwelling place. No evil shall befall us, nor shall any plague come near our dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. In their hands it shall be us up, lest we dash our foot against the sun. We shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent we shall trample on that bit. Because we have set our love upon him. Therefore, he will deliver us. He will set us up on high because we have known your name. We shall call upon him and he will answer us. He will be with us in trouble. He will deliver us and honor us. With long life, will he satisfy us and show us the salvation. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All the glory Lord, must be to the, to the Lord. Only he is worthy. Of our praise, no man should you glory to himself. All the glory was be to the Lord. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, Surely God's goodness, goodness and mercy and shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. And ever. Amen. Amen. Henceforth, let no man let trouble, no trouble me and my house. For we bear on our bodies the mark, the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we shall not die, we shall live to declare the, the, the glory of God. The land of the living, the living Jesus name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Praise the I am that I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For me, do you want to shout you hallelujah? Yes. Praise your mighty God that will open our spiritual eyes. Hallelujah. Praise the King of glory that will give us the Son and Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the faithful Father that will never fail us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much. Give God all the glory. God bless. Thank you.